In the previous lesson, we did the forward past to determine the early start and the early finish times for the activities. Now we're going to do the backward pass and identify the late start and late finish, and with that information, the slack for activities. So from the last lesson, we knew that the earliest that this activity could be, the project could be completed is 12 days, and so that's also the late finish. Remember, the late start or finish is the latest that an activity can be finished or start without delaying the earliest completion of the project. So 2 minus 12 is 10. And so unlike going forward, we subtract going backwards, pass the numbers back, subtract, pass, subtract, 3 from 10 is 7. Now here we have a choice with activity D, and when you go backwards, you choose the smaller number. Remember going forward, we choose, chose the larger number. Going backwards, we always, when we're faced with a choice, choose a smaller number, which in this case is 6. 1 minus 6 is 5. 5 and 5. 1 minus 5 is 4 and 2. We have another choice, 4 or 2. Remember, what do we remember? We remember to choose a smaller number going back, which is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So we calculated the late start and the late finish, and now by subtracting, early start from late start, early finish from late finish, we can determine the slack for a specific activity. That's zero. Two from four is two. Zero. Zero. Six, six, zero, zero. One, one. Zero, zero, and zero, and zero. And then we can track or trace the zeros to identify the critical path. A delay in any one of these activities would extend the duration of the project, assuming that all other activities go according to plan. In the case of B or F, they have slack. B can be delayed two days without delaying the project. F can be delayed one day without delaying the project. So remember, when you go backwards, subtract, choose the smaller number, Subtract the early start from the late start, the early finish from the late finish to identify slack, and then trace out the critical path by following the zeros. And these are the six activities along the critical path.